Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs. Now, I'm going to do the wings for the fairies separately so that you can basically uh, look at this video for any of the wings that you want to do. So they're going to be my fairy wings. Um, I'm going to be using the Rainbow Loom Glitter White. Now, I would suggest that as the tips of the wings, you use whatever colour you feel is appropriate for the, the colour scheme that you have picked for your little fairy. So, for example, with Tinkerbell, I'm going to put tips of green. When I do Erissa, I will do her tips with yellow, and when I do Silver Mist, I will do her tips with blue. So, um, Rosetta will have the, the pinky red. So, this is sort of uh, the, the theme um, of, of how I'm going to be doing the wings. So, you pick the colour that you want on the end of your wings okay so how we're going to start these wings what I'm going to do you take two bands because we're double banding so two and you place them over the pegs as one your loom is going to be in the offset configuration which means column one and three are slightly lower than column two you're going to start by placing your bands here like this okay and then we will come down three pair on this left side. You will then come down so that you finish one pair below the left side for the middle. So that's one, two, three, four pair. Okay, and then here we're going to finish one pair below the middle. So that's one, two. Now, if you don't have glitter white, you can use white, you can use clear, you can use whatever you like. I've used pearl before when they were um, available. I think they're a bit of a limited item. So one, two, three, and four pair for here too. This is where we put the tips of the colour that you choose. It doesn't have to be the lime green. I'm using uh, the Re Rainbow Loom Fairy, the Sweets Lime Green. That's just because that's what I've used for Tinkerbell. Wrap, your, wrap the single band around your hook once and twice and you're going to pop that on the end here. Once and twice and pop that on the end. Now obviously you need to do two of these once and twice and pop on the end. Two wings I'm talking about. Take a single glitter band and stretch it between the three top pegs there and then you're going to take another one and stretch between the next three pegs and your last one will go between these three pegs all right now we're ready to loop this up dig down past your colored end cap grab the first the, the bottom i suppose two bands the first two glitter bands but they're the only glitter bands and loop up and loop up and loop up and loop up do the same for the other two columns Be careful with your with your uh, end cap make sure you keep that in place push that crossover band back with your hook now I can see that this little green band has come off the peg it doesn't really matter because I did manage to loop up the bands Sure you get both okay at this point we're doing the side ones and the side ones as I said we need to do two of these so down the bottom of your loom you could have another one ready to be doing you're going to take two single well two two single of course they're going to be two single <laughs> two bands and poke your hook down the center here and out the side pop them on the end of your hook drag them through to the back side of that peg okay and you're going to take this off the loom we are not tying it off we're not securing it so this is one wing now I'm covered in glitter okay so that's one wing you can see how it's uh, graduated 
Now I prepared one, my second one already, so you can prepare yours if you want to. Well, I suggest you do, otherwise she's going to be flying around in circles, isn't she? Um, dig down, <laughs> pause your video and catch up with me. When you've, ca when you've caught up with me, let's loop up our second wing. I'm having difficulty talking this morning. It's, it's early. I've had one cup of coffee. I'm going to say that's my excuse. loop up your second wing push this down push down now I want this one to end up on the same set of bands as this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one side of my hook out, I'm going to take my other side of my hook out. So this is just sitting on two bands like this. I'm going to dig down through all of those bands and I'm going to put this on the end of my hook. Now I'm going to make it so that the, the largest. Um, one, two, three, four, this, this largest set is facing outward, okay? Drag that back up to the back side, reclaim the end, and I'm going to take this off. So you see how it's matched up, okay? I've got the two larger sides together, that it's like a mirror image is what I'm trying to say <laughs> okay <laughs> so we have both wings on these two I'm going to take the two closest to me up over and off and there's my slip knot I'm pulling that tight but not so tight that it's going to um, break the bands but they're nice and tight now so for dear old Tink what I'm going to do you can split these two tie off bands if you look at the back of her, okay, just down here, get the smaller hook, just down here you have these two, okay, I'm going to push my hook through the first two here, I'm going to make it so that the larger part of the wing is at the top and the smaller part is at the bottom, I'm going to grab one side of the tie off band and pull it back through like that, okay. I'm just going to hold it. I'm going to do the same the other side. I'm going to go under those other two bands, grab the tie off band and pull it through. Now to secure it on her back, all I'm going to do is splay this band out and pop that wing through. And I'm going to do the same this side. Splay the band out and pop the wing through. And there you have her wings on her okay so that is how I do fairy wings